hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this beautiful strawberry bouquet with a bottle of wine and i'm going to be adding flowers i hope you guys like it and this is the things that you're going to need i'm going to be using red and white candy melts i'm also going to be adding some edible gold and here's my strawberries already washed and just make sure that you have your strawberries at room temperature and now I'm going to go ahead and start by melting my white chocolate and the way I get it at the right consistency it's by melting my chocolate doing intervals of 30 seconds and I also add half of a teaspoon of coconut oil and that way you're going to get your chocolate nice and runny. And now I'm going to transfer my red chocolate into this piping bag and by placing your piping bag in a cup it's going to make it a lot easier. I'm going to be doing the marble effect for my strawberries so that's why you're going to need red chocolate and your white chocolate. And to make the marble effect is really easy all you have to do is just draw some lines on the top of your chocolate just horizontal and vertical and now you're going to dip your strawberry just make sure that you move all your leaves away so you can kind of hold on to them when you dip them. And now all you have to do is just go in the chocolate nice and straight and just kind of twist it a little bit. And you're going to continue doing the same thing for all your strawberries for each one. You're going to be adding the same lines on the top and you're going to continue dipping your strawberries. Just make sure that you go in straight and just come out twisting your strawberry. And this is how you're going to get your nice marble effect. And just make sure that you don't move your chocolate or it's going to turn pink since you have red and white. It might change a little bit towards the end. You might get a little bit more of like the pink color. But you, if you don't move it, I promise that the white it's going to stay nice and white on the bottom. And now I'm going to be adding a little bit of edible gold. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of vodka so I can get a nice consistency. Just add a little bit of vodka into your powder and this is going to make it nice and runny. I like to make it a little bit runny so this way it's easier to paint it into your strawberries. You can also mix it with vanilla extract. Make sure that it's pure vanilla or lemon extract. And you don't need any special brushes, these are just regular brushes. I got this at the 99 cent store. And now I'm just going to trace along the lines I already have with my edible gold. And now the marble effect is going to stand out even more. And now that my strawberries are nice and dried, I'm going to go ahead and make my bouquet. And for this bouquet, I'm going to be adding a bottle of wine and some roses. And the first thing we're going to do is to start adding some wood sticks and we're going to need a lot of tape. So you're going to need a whole roll of tape. I'm going to be placing four skewers, so just kind of separate them a little bit. And just make sure that you secure it really good with your tape. I like to place the sticks a little bit on the lower side of the bottle so this way you don't cover your bottle. And once you have all your four sticks, now we're going to tape the bottom part and you're going to be leaving your tape right in there. Don't cut it. You're going to leave the rolls in there since we're going to be needing the tape to tape all the roses and the strawberries. So I'm going to go ahead and start by placing one of my roses and just taping around the stick. And also I'm going to be cutting my sticks or the stem of the flower. You can do this at the end or you can do it before. And now I'm going to be adding one of my strawberries and continue adding some tape on the bottom so I can secure it really good. And just make sure that you don't put a lot of pressure on the middle part of the bouquet or your strawberries are going to start falling off from your sticks. And now I'm just going to continue adding my roses and my strawberries. 
And in case if you don't feel comfortable adding roses and chocolate covered strawberries, you can just make one with chocolate covered strawberries and it's gonna look really nice. And now that I have my bouquet ready, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my wrapping paper. This is floral paper, so you can find this at any flower shop or you can also order it from Amazon. And since I have these big sheets, I'm just going to cut it into four pieces. It's going to make it easier. I decided to show you guys this way, but you can also use the whole sheet and it will come out really nice. But for this one, I'm just going to be placing each of my sheets just kind of like pointing up. I'm going to be placing some of my white ones in the inside and then I'm going to be placing my pink on the outside. You can be adding tape after you add each of your sheets, so this is going to make it a lot easier. And at the end, just make sure that you add a little bit more tape just to secure it. And for the bottom, just get one of your sheets and kind of just cover the bottom part and just bring it up and just tie it with a nice uh, ribbon. And this is how you get a bouquet. I just love it. I love the colors. I just love everything. I think it's perfect for any occasion. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys can make one for your loved ones. If you guys do, don't forget to send me pictures on Instagram and to follow me on TikTok, Facebook. And also don't forget to like my video, share my video. And thanks for staying until the end. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.